brother, it's cold outside today. And right now, where you live, it is really cold. <laughs> All right, so let's just talk about, you know, knowing what to do when the end comes. And it has come, but God did not delay either. What I'm going to talk about is, you know, God says he will wait, but not delay. He will wait for his people to come. Now, what do I mean by this? Alright, so, what do I mean that the end has come? Basically, the, um, the most important feature that means that the world is going to end is that the word has actually spread out throughout the whole entire world. It even has spread out through the islands. You know, everyone has technology. No matter who they are, everyone has technology. But uh, not every single person has technology, but, you know, the whole world knows, um, basically everyone knows about God. Except for maybe those very few people that are in an island, or maybe very few areas of the world where they're just, you know, people that are of the woods and they hang together, pretty much something like that. It is not for them to know exactly when the world will end, but it is for them to know that even people preach to them, except for me, for the people on a certain island. Maybe we'll get the truth later on. But right now, God's people will understand that this has become the end. And you will know that too, because the message has been spoken of all over the world. Everyone knows about the message. And it's basically, everyone knows what the Bible's talking about and everyone knows that the Bible has um, come into play. Okay, so, the very few people know that this has become the last prophecy that um, the world all knows about the Bible. That's the last prophecy. Everyone knows about the Bible. No matter if it's spread by the word of mouth, even if they don't have technology, or something like that. Gosh, even China knows about this kind of stuff, and they hate it. North Korea has been known, has been taught about it. You know. You know, basically, um. If, if North Korea doesn't have internet, they'll still know about it. So it's 99% of the world knows about the Bible, and 100% of the world knows about the Gospel. And whether they've actually been taught about it once, you know, they will know in the end times. So right now, we're, we've come very close to the end, guys. We have, really, really have. So, another point I want to make. It is not to worry about um, certain events like um, disaster or terror or anything like that. It is only by the word of God that we must know that the world has basically come to an end and all that. So basically, you know, um, yeah. If you see a lot of um, crazy stuff going on, that's the devil wanting to um, it's called, take the Bible away from many people. And if that's um, not possible for the devil basically to take every, every single aspect of the Bible away, 
then he will do much worse. And everyone knows about the Bible, like I said, except for the very few. And North Korea is uh, basically barely an exemption because they've been cut off from the Bible, except for those who keep teaching it. And then, you know, there will be something like that, um, like, I don't know, a new dictatorship in North Korea after the nuclear war, I think. That's when they'll say, okay. Um, I guess they'll have to say that when they see that um, Jim Kam Uno wasn't a person that he was meant to be, maybe they um, won't have him as a god. But that's an option. That will be a strict option. Because they'll they'll basically um, the elect will have the internet um, from satellite, and then if the elect tell about the Bible, they'll be persecuted. It'll be like Roman times, so not too bad as it is today. then the devil will really, um, they'll have to flee from that obligation because that will be complete. Then he'll have to literally, I mean literally have to, um, trick the masses and that's when, right now he's doing the tricking the masses because he knows it's, it's about time. He knows that, you know, his time has come to an end. So he's really tricking the masses. He knows that North Korea could actually uh, fail soon. He knows that, um, you know, and I mean, North Korea even knows about God in some ways, because they know that the false dictatorship is um, making them uh, actually kind of, you know, not sir, but <sighs> horrified. Not horrified, but you know, they're not happy about um, the fact that they know that the God is real and they, they know that um, the dictator, dictator of a God, they know to bow down to the dictator, but they just um, fear him. They really fear him and they don't fear God. But that's not to say that they'll change a little bit soon. And. You know, when I get to have a maybe a possible subscriber in North Korea because of how desperate someone was, I won't be surprised. And I'll be like, okay, that person has been really desperate, I guess. Well, he does follow his commands and, I mean, God's commands and not the leader's commands and hopefully, hopefully he just lives on to be a um, true go child of God. And I mean, we've come really close, guys. And I mean, oh, and if you're wondering, the mark of the beast is not the chip. It is not the Gematra 66 or anything like that. However, um, created, uh, created heaven, <coughs> is a um, symbol of 666 in Jamatra. So that's um, weird. But you have to know about that because if uh, someone else creates heaven and um, they're really proud of that heaven, <sighs> you know, it's actually getting really cold. If anyone says, oh, this is what we've created and this is heaven, created heaven, that's 666, guys. Maybe heaven on earth might be a two. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. C R E A T E D O N 
E A R T H. Uh, well, like I said, I won't be that um, surprised. But heaven on earth. Yeah, I mean, it's supposed to be the new earth, guys, not heaven on earth. So really, um, I'm going to look at that one up in Jamatra and also know that um, we're really close, guys. We really are. If North, North, if North Korea, um, like I said, if it um, sneezes or if it blinks, that's when we are really going to see God come. And hopefully um, we're not in trouble because of that, okay? Alright, I'll be done now, okay? Bye. And also, um, don't take uh, the end times video to the extreme if you could, if you are. Just know that, um, oops. Just know that, um, take it, take today as it really is, and if, um, just as if, um, tomorrow will be last, okay? That's all I have to say, tell you, and that's, and then look at the end times as if it really is your last because they'll cause fear. Okay? I'll be there now, okay? Bye.